hello everyone, Owen Azuris here. Today we are looking at Pokemon Go and a Community Day challenge which currently features Porygons. This challenge was a little bittersweet for me because, well for two reasons. First off, I didn't catch this Porygon and I'll kind of go over that. But I kind of, I have a Porygon Z and I kind of spent a lot of time evolving it, having to walk every day, slowly get its candy. And it took a while to actually I'll just show you here. Get this Porygon Z. I had to get a regular Porygon, then I had to go and evolve it. And then I think it took a hundred candies to actually get the next one into this particular Porygon. So yeah, a little bittersweet. Uh Porygon's always fascinated me since he was kind of the cartoon that had him in there. Gave a lot of, it's the one that gave a lot of people seizures in Pokemon, and it wasn't Porygon's fault, I think it was actually Pikachu, the way his lightning looked in the background when he did a lightning attack on something. And, but Porygon, you know, is not the star of the show, so Porygon kind of got a lot of the blame for it. Let's see if I can catch this one. I'd actually been recording this a little earlier, and for some reason my microphone wasn't on, so I'm re-recording this. And now, of course, it's giving me issues. Well, first off, it's giving me issues where these things don't want to be captured. Okay, before we go. And then the music's cutting in and out here and there. But I was hoping that would be kind of solved by the new iOS update, but it's not. But I've caught five Porygon now. Let's see what kind of bonuses we get. Okay, I get we've done all this stuff. Nice. Let's talk to the professor here. The virtual Porygon. Yeah, they look weird. They get weird attacks. I always like weird creatures in games like this. And make a discovery. Nice. Got a lot of Weedle candy. That's for the Mega Evolutions. I haven't done much with that. I've caught some Bulbasaurs and Charmanders. See, now I need to catch 15 Porygon. Which I should be able to do. This lasts for a while. You do have to pay 99 cents for the pass. There should be some shiny ones. I'm really hoping to catch a shiny Porygon. That would be really nice. Just like that throw there. And Porygon to jump out of the ball. So yeah, this video won't be too long. It's just a quick update of, hey, what's going on in case you missed it. If you haven't paid attention in a while. Yeah, you can go ahead and catch some of these Porygons here and get in on the action. Because like I said, used to, it was really hard to get a fully evolved Porygon in this game. Now it's going to be a lot easier. Am I hatching an egg? Yes. So drop an incense like I did to get the most. And eventually, once I put this up, I'm going to actually just grab a Pokeball and catch them as they come out in the game without having the game on. One of the nice things about having one of these Switch controllers that's shaped like a Pokeball is it syncs perfectly with your game. I was hoping to catch a shiny one. Oh, there we go. Right as I say that. And you know what? I do not want to lose this. And of course, I can't run it. I have never not caught in a shiny, and this is one I want really bad. And of course he escapes. Let's see if that'll catch it. Yes! My first shiny Porygon. Very nice. Let's see how good he is. He's not good at all, but hey, you know what? It's still a shiny Porygon. Hopefully, the, hopefully I'll catch two or three today. That's kind of what I'm hoping for here. We'll find out. So, I will leave you on this, well, I was going to say dramatic pause, see if we would catch that Porygon, but we did. So yeah, if you've ever wanted to catch Porygons and you didn't want to spend... Well, I'll kind of give you the history of me catching this particular Porygon. I found a place where Porygons spawn like once a day at noon at 
place I worked, so I would go there and catch it. I would then have to, I had to walk him a lot, because I had to take him around for walks to get the candies to evolve them. And does the park actually have a gender? No, it does not. So yeah, so I had to take a lot of walks, probably walked a lot of miles to evolve him. Does it actually say how far I've walked with him? 500 kilometers total. Some of that's because he's my friend. I think I've got him up to three stars as a friend. But the other was me just walking him until I got enough candies to do the evolution. And even then, I think I had to use like 20 of my rare candies to get enough candies. I was out of rare candy for a while with him. So yeah, if you've ever wanted a Porygon, today is your lucky day. As long as you pay the 99 cents and you get in in the next few hours, you can't potentially catch Porygon. Catch them and as a reward for catching Porygons, you can catch Porygons. Very nice. So with that, I will leave you and see you next time. The rest of the week, we should have some more roguelike videos posting. I might post another baseball video. But until then, have a great day.